Hello everybody and welcome to video 3 of Blender 2.80 Absolute Beginners Tutorial. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to do basic transformations in Blender. So I've already introduced you those uh, three tools here. And let's just jump into knowing them more. So when I press the move tool and I have my object selected, uh, you can see those three arrows are drawn around its center. So when I left click one of the arrows, any of the arrows, and hold it and move my mouse around, you can see the object is following a certain direction, except we don't see the, uh, the blue line, the z-axis. But yeah, you can see just by clicking those lines, uh, those arrows, sorry, we can move an object around. We can also rotate it. So when we switch to the rotation tool, we have those arches visible. And as you can see, we can rotate the object. Scale obviously goes for scaling the object. So as you can see, we can deform it in different uh, directions. And in the first video, I've introduced this panel on the right, which is hidden under the N button. Or you can just click this little plus sign here. And all the transformations we do, you can see are visible here in those fields. So when I rotate the object, you can see uh, the values changing here. And let's say we want to go back to the original uh, shape and, and location and rotation of the object. So you can just click here and type any value you want. It will be zero in our case. Uh, to jump between the fields, you can just press tab key. And to go um, upwards the list, you have to hold shift and then press tab. Right, so yeah, we are back to our original form with the object. And again, yeah, just I would recommend just playing around with these tools a little bit. As you can see, when I select transform, we have all of the tools visible at the same time. So you can scale, rotate, and move the object just from this one uh, complex gizmo we have right now. But you can also um, exclude the other tools from it. To make the best use of Blender, I would recommend memorizing a few more shortcuts for those operations. So. Um, when the gizmo is visible, actually it doesn't have to be visible, but when I press the S key, which stands for scaling, you can see uh, the, the transformation is happening. When I press R, which, is st which stands for rotation, you can see what's happening. And you would guess when I press M, we would move the object, but unfortunately that's not the case in Blender. And you have to press G, which stands for grabbing the object. So you press G to move it around. So again, S stands for scaling, R stands for rotation, and G stands for grabbing or moving the object around. Um, as you can see, when we have the gizmo selected, we have those um, squares, which allows us moving the object along two axes only with excluding one of one of them so we can also do it using the shortcuts uh, when I press G and then press X you can see the object is moving along a certain direction when I press G and then Y we can move it like this and again G X G Y G X G Y but we can also do it simultaneously. So 
we have to disable this blue uh, X, right, which is Z. To do it, when I press G key, I have to hold a shift key and then press Z. So the shift key tells Blender to disable the next axis that I will be pressing. So let's say when I do G, shift Y, you can see we are moving the cube just in those red and blue directions. When I press G, Shift X, you can see we have green and blue lines visible, which tells us this is the only uh, directions the object will be going. So again, G and Shift Z right now, and we can move along those two axes. Axes? I don't know. Sorry if I pronounce it uh, incorrectly. You can also see it here, right? So when I again press G, Shift Z, sorry, Shift Z, you, s you can see the Z field. Uh, there's no change in there. Um, so again, when I we, we can also use it for other uh, transformations. When I press R and X, you can see we are only rotating in this one uh, direction. I press R and Z. Again, same thing happening. And same stands for scaling. So we're, when I press S and Z, you can see the object is scaling in this one direction. When I press S, Shift, Z, you can see it scales like this. And when I just press S, it it scales un uniformly in or all directions. So again, S, Shift, Z, and you can see we can do this kind of transformation. Um, as already mentioned, all the transformations we do are visible in this panel on the right, but I didn't mention you can actually do the transformations from this panel directly. So when I left click and hold my mouse button, and move the mouse around, you can see the object is rotating. You can also move the object this way and scale it as well. But what if you want to have very precise uh, transformation values? You can obviously just type them here. So let's say one meter in this direction and two meters in this direction but you can also use a control key so again i left click my mouse button and now i press and hold the control key so you can see my transformation is very precise right now same in this axis sorry you have to press the left key first and then hold the control otherwise it's not working and this also works here so when I left click on on the arrow and then press the control key you can see the transformation is very uh, it's snapped to the grid system we have when I press the R key for example then X and now I hold the control key you can see it's also happening. Uh, I'm just not sure why the z-axis is changing but yeah whatever. And yeah same with scaling so R, S and let's say Z and now I hold it so you can see it changes every uh, 10 centimeters I'm guessing. A few more words about the rotation tool. Uh, when you have the gizmo activated, you can freely click anywhere around the, the sphere and this will activate a free rotation tool. Um, when you just press R once, you can see the rotation is a bit different and the X, uh, axis around which the rotation is taking place is your camera posi position. So where I, when I place, place my camera like this and press R, can see the rotation is happening like this 
when I move it around here, let's say, press R again, we can see what's happening. But when I press R twice, so one and two, the free rotation tool is activated again. So I can either access it by clicking, left clicking and holding my mouse uh, around the, the sphere, or I can press it by, uh, I can activate it by pressing R twice. And when I press R once, uh, the rotation uh, pivot is my camera location. To end this video, I want to show you one more trick, which will be a precise transformation. So uh, let's use a rotate tool for that. And when I left click and hold, you can see the standard rotation is taking place. And when I press and hold the shift key, you can see the whole transformation slows down a lot. And now I, I can rotate my object much more precisely. Sometimes it's necessary in uh, the 3D modeling or scene creation process. So once I release the shift key, everything goes back to normal. And when I press and hold it, it slows down. Um, we can also combine it with the control key. So when I left click and hold, sorry. When I left click and hold, and now I press and hold the control key, you can see those lines appearing and they indicate every 10 degree rotation. So when I release the control key, it disappears. When I hold it, it's visible. And now when I press the shift key and hold it, you can see it gets, it divides the rotation by just a one degree. So now when I uh, do this movement with my mouse, I'm actually rotating by a one degree. So again, left click and hold, now control and hold it, and now shift and hold it as well. So you can see this precise uh, rotation. I can release the shift key or I can release the control keys. I can re <laughs> release both keys as well. And yeah, this is pretty useful, I think. Um, you can also do it with the move tool. Unfortunately, as I said, it doesn't work with scale. Or maybe I didn't say it, <laughs> but it doesn't work with scale. So yeah, again, let's say we press and hold our left mouse button here. Now I press control and now I press shift. It also works just with the shortcuts. So when I press G, I press, let's say, uh, Y. Now I hold control and now I hold shift. I release shift, I release control and I left click. Again, G, now I will exclude the Z axis, so shift Z, uh, shift Z, sorry, come on, yeah. So now you can see um, I'm just moving the object without the Z axis. Now I can press control and now I can also press shift. Let's do it once more. Sorry. So again, I press G. I don't have to hold it. Now I uh, hold shift key and press Z. And I release the keys. So you can see now it's until I left click, uh, the operation won't be applied. But now I can hold, I press and hold the control key. And now I can press and hold the shift key. So you can see on the right, uh, the operation is taking place every 10 centimeters. I release the shift takes place every, every meter and I release control and it's like completely free transformation. 
So this might be quite a lot uh, to learn. I recommend checking and rev uh, like checking the shortcuts in the description to this video and practicing the very basic transformations you can do with Blender because these tools are the foundation of basically everything you'll be doing in 3D. Uh, we will get into the details in the upcoming videos. Mm, but yeah, just keep practicing, memorize the shortcuts and see you in the next part.